Good morning and welcome back to Edgewater, Saskatchewan. This is a uh, part 22, which is absolutely insane to think of. But today we have a job to do. I need a grass field because we have had a modder send us something that we need to test. And it is the perfect time to test it because I need silage. Yeah, I think this field will work just fine. Let's go in here to this field, number 12, and we're going to buy it. Or farmland 19. Let's go ahead and buy that. And we'll get in here and see what we can do about mowing this. Oh yeah, we're gonna have two of these now. Rock and roll, man, rock and roll. I don't uh, do much swamp thing anymore, but we do. Well, we do have a really cool setup going on right here. Actually, Yos sent us over something that would be extremely helpful when it came to swathing, but we're not gonna worry too much about that, at least not right now. What we're gonna do is we are going to mow this field and then we are going to bail every single bit of it. And if this doesn't work, well, we're going to blame Mark Thor. Because he sent me an update to the quick bail. And and I don't know how quick it is. I guess we're going to find out. The good thing as well is we got two of these mowers. So I'm going to run around. I think I'm going to run two headlands around. That should work just fine. And then we're going to come through and hire a worker on a few of these. That way, at least we get this field done quickly. If I was smart, I would have bought a square field, but I don't think my brain has learned that uh, that lesson yet. So we'll just do what we got to do. All right, to help us get this done and at least be a little bit, um, I don't know, I don't know, lined up in the line, looking good, something like that. I am going to hire up a worker, but right there should do at least to get us to the other end. There you go, buddy. Now, I've got one more around here somewhere. Found it. On second thought, I'm not quite sure that a worker's gonna do any good at this. There's no way, man. Well, it's definitely not the cleanest I've ever done, but I bet I could have done a whole lot worse. <laughs> definitely could have done a whole lot worse, and I did this way faster without a worker than I could have with one. So this is the bailer we're gonna be testing out today. Well, not this one. This is the quick bail. This is on Hub already. This is what we're going to test out. The quick, quick bell. 100 horsepower required, so not bad at all. There, 24 mile per hour max working speed. You read that right. Very cool there. And it makes 180 centimeter round bells, which is exactly what I'm wanting to make because the less bells to carry around. We do have a bunch of different wheel options as well, which is nice. We're going to go with a, I think, Redestein. That'll work for us. And since we're going case, well... Let's go with case. Rear hitch, I don't need a rear hitch. So we'll just kind of leave that where it is for now. And silage additive, yes please, because we are making silage. Foil color, let's see what the case IH red looks like. Ooh, ooh, they look very good. I like that, yeah. Main color, oh, let's do like a red chrome. <laughs> oh, that one looks way too good, man. And the rim colors, let's just do regular chrome. All right. That's, that's way too cool. Actually, is there black chrome? Oh, I like this. like this a whole lot. I'm going to buy it, actually. So, here it is. Oh, the quick, quick bail. We need to change the logo, but it's quick, quick bail. And we're going to be using this tractor right here. <laughs> I figure what tractor else are you going to pull it with, right? This thing's epic. Now, because this is a quick, quick bail, I want to make sure that I don't have fast farming enabled. So... Fast farming is off. I'm gonna turn it on now. You can see a little extra menu pops up there. Uh, we're not gonna use it because I wanna see what this baler can actually do. So let's go ahead and unfold. We'll get it down, dropped in, lowered, and we'll start it about right here. There we go. Uh, there is an extra bit of pickup on it, which is nice, but I do wanna see, can we run this? So it's running about 20 miles an hour now. I do wanna see, can we actually run this? Oh my goodness. The flipper worked. The flipper worked to put it on its side. Oh my goodness. We gotta do it again. Do, 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 do. And get it out and wham. <laughs> the flipper doesn't even have time to drop it. Oh, that's epic, dude. So apparently this is part of the next update that he's trying to get out, I believe, to all platforms, which would be just simply incredible. I'm certainly going to be swapping over the baler that I'm using on the Valley of the Old Farm for this. 100% check that series out if you haven't seen it already. And 
And to say that Farming Simulator 23 could use this might be, uh, well, I think the biggest understatement of the day. This is going to work perfectly fine. So I think my next question here is going to have to be, what do you think of this? Is this the type of mod that would be extremely beneficial to you on your farm? Or maybe uh, you think something like this, possibly on Xbox or PlayStation, might be fun. Because the thing is, I love playing like this, but if I still played on only Xbox, for example, like I did with Farming Simulator 17, um, I would still want to play like this. But I just couldn't. I think this is pretty cool because I love using mods like this. It not only makes it easier, but like this is this is what makes the game fun for me is doing wild and crazy stuff and, and being able to to use things is like that's that's really stupid. You wouldn't see that in real life. No! But as a game. Oh that would almost stand it on its head. That's awesome. Um this is what makes it a lot of fun for me. And I'm sure there's a lot of you guys out there that would find this extremely fun. So I wanna know. Is this something you'd love to see? Is this something you wouldn't use? Something you don't like? Hey, let me know. Be honest with me. All right, I am actually interested to see how long this is gonna take. Oh, we should get this out of the way real quick. All right there. Yeah, there we go, got it out of the way. I'm gonna set time at times one. It is 11.21 right now, and I wanna see what the time is when I finish this field, just so you can get an idea of how quickly I can do this at the speeds that it's rated. Okay, the time just clicked over to 11.22, so start the timer now. So that clip was seven minutes and 30-ish seconds. Uh, very, very interesting. Uh, one thing I did note is this will go up to 24 miles per hour max speed. However, speed that I was running, uh, it was just a wee, it was a little bit different. It was a little bit different. I just had too much grass in one, uh, one pile. Uh, these bealers are actually really smart. Why am I going over here? Well, I guess they can go over here. Uh, these bealers are really smart. So depending on how much swath you've got, it's also going to be like, hey, you got too much. I can't keep up. And so for that back there, 20 miles an hour was about as much as it could take uh, with everything that was going in. Uh, there is no room over here for this baler. Looks like we're heading back over to the new side. Now we just got to find a good place for it. And I think this little area right here might be perfect. Yes, yes, yes. I think this will do it. It's almost like it was made for it. Yes. Now we got to pick all these bells up and <laughs> at least get them in a place out of the field. So what I've gone for is Mack Trucker 921's auto loading bell pack. This is a 50 foot, I believe. Let's see. Let's take a look. Where is it? Trailers? Yeah, the 53 foot drop deck trailer with the bell. Auto load. I don't know how many it holds, so <laughs> I guess we'll find that out. Uh, we do need to throw this thing in operating position. And of course, of course, we have a Phoenix at the front. So we'll pick all these bells up and then move them. I don't know if bells will ferment while they're in a, uh, a storage, maybe? I'm I'm actually not too sure about that. I should probably go watch a Driver 53 video to find out though. All right, here we go. We got 34 bells on this bad boy. It is, uh, there's a lot. There's a lot of bells on here. I actually don't know how many I got. This seems like a really good place to just put them down. So we will, oops, wrong button. <laughs> we will do that. Okay, aren't there some more over there? 13 more, that is how many we had. So whatever that number plus this number, that's how many we have. Yeah, so good at math. The worst idea I could possibly think of would be to try and get these to stack on top of the other bales. Probably the worst decision that I could do. That looks to be about lined up. All right, let's unload, bring them over. <laughs> All right, bring them down, but not, not enough to touch, just enough to where they drop. Right there. Oh! <laughs> that is never gonna be that good again. <laughs> yeah! Oh, and I created these for semi-trucks too, didn't I? 
way too easy. Again, big shout out to Mark Thor for sending us the update ahead of time to not only show you guys, but also to try it out and see if it works and see if it passes the DJ test. And I would say two thumbs up.